In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to stabilize a shaky video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in open shot. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. You'll need to make sure you have the latest version of um, OpenShot installed. This version is 2.6.0. Older versions don't have the stabilizing option um, in the effects uh, tab. So I've brought this clip into um, track one and it's not too bad, but it is a little bit shaky. So making sure you're at the beginning of your video clip so your marker is well it'll be at very beginning select the effects tab and you're looking for something pretty obvious stabilizer drag this over your video clip and you'll get these options here or this one option so this is Effectively, I suppose it's trying to say it's got a 30% accuracy. Um, the one thing, I'll, I'll just use something. I'll, I'll, I'll just um, process this effect a minute. So you just press effect, process effect. And you'll see if your clips um, at all shaky that you'll you'll see some borders um, at the top bottom inside so I'm, I'm just gonna press this or press play a minute because the clip wasn't too bad we're not getting too much of an effect it's occasionally um, slipping in and out now this for some reason at present at least on my videos it's not doing the very last couple of frames you'll have to put up with that and maybe render the video and then edit it again so I'm just going to go back to the beginning now if I wanted to change um, the percentage of um, stabilization I, I don't think there's an option other than um, right click on the little s and then remove a fact then drag it back into your track and I'm going to just adjust this and you can roll your middle mouse to increase or decrease the amount here you could manually type it in or you have got these buttons here so I'm going to take this up to 35 and again process effect always making sure you're at the very beginning okay so let's just play this again don't expect it to play too well either it will look worse than the final render okay so we've got some borders so if you right click on the little s it should bring the properties panel up now again you make sure you're at the beginning because if you try and do this when you're at the end you'll, you'll effectively put a keyframe in which will mean that this will tend to zoom now you can drag this up here this zoom bar and it will get rid of your um, borders or you can type in a figure so let's type in 1.1 hit return and see if this gets rid of the borders or the edges and that seems to be working like I said you will get a skip on the last frame I don't know why that happens so yeah go back one frame now I could edit it to here but what I would do is now um, render this video and uh, OpenShot's not brilliant for doing lots of videos anyway so what I would do is render this video and then re-import it with the rest of my video clips that I want to work with 
And that's basically all there is to it. I won't bother rendering this. I know it works. I've uh, gone run through this a few times. Um, so that's about it, really. Just play around. Like I said, if you want to change your settings, you'll have to delete the um, effect and then bring it back in. Change this size. But try and remember, always work from the start. Because if I changed anything at the end, effectively, if I put this figure here at the end I would have started off with a one at the beginning and it would have just keyframed up to 1.1 here so I would have had a kind of zoom effect and that's basically all there is to it this is quite a new um, sort of um, effect so things might change and other people might find other ways of doing it but hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers